Dinosaur dozens coming up. Oh, uh, the killer dinosaurs. Dinosaur dozen. The killers. Now here they are once again, those dinosaur names. Try to say them out loud and then say them again. Diplodocus, Volcanodon and Plateosaurus, Iguanodon, Deinonychus and Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Ilophysis and Hypesilophodon with Taurosaurus, Stegosaurus, that's about enough of them. Comsognathus, Procomsognathus, Coelophysis, Coelurus, Deinonychus, Dromiseomimus, Gallimimus, Megalosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Allosaurus, Spinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus. You know, they quite give me the shivers, even after 65 million years. But at least we've something to be grateful to them for. What's that? Leaving so many fossils around for us to find. After all, all the dinosaurs we know today were walking around on the Earth at one time. And when they were killed or died of old age or an accident, like those Iguanodons in Belgium, they left us all kinds of valuable clues to the ways in which they lived. How did it happen? Well, as we've seen, so many of the dinosaurs lived in swamp and marsh country. And when they died, their bodies would slowly sink down to the bottom of the swamp. Then, as the flesh and muscle all rotted away to nothing, the layers of mud and silt surrounding it gradually dried out to turn into soft layers of stone just like the chicken bone that we buried in plaster mix. Was it a great big dog? Was it a fierce old giant? Now how will we ever know? No, 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 perhaps an elephant. No, that can't be right. Maybe a fiery dragon that set things alight. Well, we've racked our brains and we still don't know. Perhaps we should have left things alone. Oh, what is the answer? A prehistoric monster. Well, what do we make of these bones? Eventually, after many millions of years, the combined pressure of the earth and rock on top slowly began to change the skeleton of the fallen dinosaur into a kind of stone, generally keeping its dinosaur shape. That's how the fossil iguanodon of Dr. Mantell met his fate, trapped for millions of years in a swamp floor that turned to stone and was finally found in the layers of sandstone in the quarry. That's right, Dill. <laughs> Just like this coelophysis. And that's not all. Now, obviously, the bones that fell to the bottom of the swamp first will be found far lower down in the stone layers than the bones of the dinosaurs that died later. And those dinosaurs that lived and died during the final period of dinosaur life on Earth, the Cretaceous period, will be found on top of all of them. Right at the bottom, my old ancestor, the fierce old Thecodontian. And as we go back up through the layers, all the various dinosaur groups gradually come to light. Just as the paleontologists discovered them, the lowest layer the Triassic. Middle to late Triassic, Coelophysis, Procomsognathus, Ornithosuchus, Platyosaurus, and Thecodontosaurus. Jurassic! Mind the gates, please, thank you. Comsognathus, Megalosaurus, Allosaurus, oh hello. Mamankiosaurus, Diplodocus, Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Supersaurus. Cretaceous, Deinonychus, Hypsilophodon, Iguanodon, Shantungosaurus, Stegosaurus, Citicosaurus, Protoceratops, Microceratops, Tri, oh, Ceratops, Achoo, Anki, Losaurus, oh, Tyrannosaurus, and Struthiosaurus, what a lot of saurus. The Cretaceous was the last part of the dinosaur or the Mesozoic age. And there were then more different dinosaurs around than ever before. Mind you, by the time we get to the next floor, the tertiary age, you'll notice quite a few changes. Tertiary and Cainozoic. Mammals, lizards, crocodiles, saber-toothed tigers and mammoths. No dinosaurs? Sorry, Dill, not one. Oh. And by the time we reach our own age, the Quaternary, human beings have arrived and all that remains of the world of dinosaurs are the huge collections of bones and fossilised skeletons that have been found all over the world in the rocks of that period. And nobody knows for sure just how or why the dinosaurs all died out. Well, I've heard one or two theories. This dinosaur right then, fellow was... Uh, but before you tell us all your theories about how the dinosaurs died away, let's see our fourth dinosaur dozen. These are the Ceratopsian dinosaurs, 
some of the very last dinosaurs on Earth. Now here they are once again, those dinosaur names. Try to say them out loud and then say them again. Diplodocus, Vulcanodon and Platyosaurus, Iguanodon, Deinonychus and Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops, Silophysis and Hypsilophodon with Taurosaurus, Stegosaurus, that's about enough of them. <gasps> Microceratops, Psittacosaurus, Protoceratops, Chasmosaurus, Arhinoceratops, Anchiceratops, Pentaceratops, Styracosaurus, Pachyrhinosaurus, Monoclonius, Torosaurus, Triceratops. Well, you've certainly given us plenty to think about, Dill. Yes. I'm not too sure about the men from Mars or the Noah's Ark. I think the meteor theory the most likely, though it didn't kill us crocs. At any rate, the dinosaurs disappeared entirely at around the end of the Cretaceous period and were never seen again. But there are still plenty of dinosaur near relatives around today. Apart from you and your crocodile chums, I suppose. Well, that's right. And it's not just crocodiles, you know. All kinds of animals are related to the original Thecodontium. You've only got to remember Dr. Mantell's Iguanodon, the lizards. Dinosaur means terrible lizard. That's right. Now just take a look at the lizard. It may be cold-blooded, but there's dinosaur blood in its veins somewhere. And snakes still? Oh, yes. Despite their strange way of getting around, they too are descended from the same group of reptilian ancestors as the dinosaurs. Just the same as turtles and tortoises. Is that the full extent of your dinosaur relatives then, Dill? Well, perhaps, but not quite. Just listen to this. But that's a cockatoo, Dill. Exactly. And there's an amazing connection between birds and dinosaurs. Oh. Beak, eggs, claws, erect leg stands. That's right. And although some of the resemblances are only coincidental, no one really believes the parrot to be descended from the parrot-billed dinosaur. Mind you, there are still a lot of experts who believe that birds could be the largest surviving branch of the dinosaur dynasty. Anyway, because Archaeopteryx here had feathers, wings and a beak, 
It has been rightly called the first bird, but the Archaeopteryx should be compared with this little chap. The Coelurosaur. And when this was done, they found at least 21 common factors of shape and structure, including the fact that the Coelurosaur was almost exactly the size of a chicken. So birds really could be related to dinosaurs? It's more than a theory. It's a distinct possibility.